Hey everyone, Pierre Fury here. It's day 21 of the vlog. Today's topic is a recipe, so I'm going to actually read you guys one today. And now it's time for recipe reading time with Pierre Fury, the part of your evening slash day where Pierre Fury reads to you a recipe. Today's recipe is from this book. Oh snaps. One sec. Failure upon failure upon the black the light. Let's try this again. 365 great chocolate desserts. There we go. By Natalie Houghton. Houghton Houghton. I apologize if you're watching this and I completely butcher it. I love your chocolate recipes. Um, recipe one is a blackout cake, and the reason I'm going to be giving you guys this recipe is it's your standard chocolate cake recipe but it is delicious I've had people rant and rave about it and whatnot so it's obviously a really really good recipe um, if you have a caffeine allergy if you're allergic to chocolate I apologize right now for any torment one sec I'm disorganized today for any torment I'm about to place upon you um, if you have a gluten allergy I think you can substitute um, whatever you substitute flour, whatever you can use a flour substitute, I believe it will work. Um, ingredients include one and a half sticks of butter, softened, not melted, softened. That is very important. If it says something, follow it. One and a half sticks of butter, softened. Three cups of sugar, three. One of those tres. Three eggs. Two teaspoons vanilla extract. My variation, you can substitute that with almond, you can substitute almond extract, or you can do one teaspoon vanilla, one teaspoon almond. Four one ounce squares of unsweetened chocolate melted. Um, quick side note on that, they're actually pretty huge. One ounce is a good size amount, so it's really easy to take a really large carving knife or a butcher knife, shave it, or you can stick it in the freezer for a bit and use your grater and shave it and then it's a lot easier to melt that and microwavable 50, 15 seconds one five seconds keep melt, keep stirring after each one because if it's burnt it's horrible ah, the three cups of flour once again if you have a gluten allergy you can, you can probably get away with the substitution this is not exactly a flourless cake it needs some sort of flour or flour-like substitute product, three teaspoons baking soda, and a half teaspoon salt, three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, like I typically don't, get one tablespoon of white, 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 white vinegar and put it in your measuring cup and then fill the rest of the volume with your regular milk and it will curdle it and it has the same exact effect one and one third cups boiling water that is very important and that's it for the uh, chocolate cake um, preheat your oven it's for a double layer so it's uh, grease and flour two nine inch round baking pans or you can just spray it with pan for baking it works that works good too it says dust with flour if you're actually going to go with the buttering and dusting i would recommend you use chocolate powder simply because it tastes a lot better in a large bowl, beat together butter and sugar with an electric mixer on medium speed until light and fluffy. Mix the butter and sugar together. Add your eggs one at a time really carefully. You don't want to over mix it. You just want to have them just mixed enough. That's about one to two minutes for that. Add your eggs, your vanilla, beat until well blended. Add the chocolate and beat one to two minutes. It's going to be a little tricky and it's going to have this really weird chocolatey yellow consistency to it. It'll actually all start to blow together really well after that. Um, set that off to the side. Once you're done, you're going to mix together flour, the flour, the baking soda, and the salt. You mix your dries together after you've got your liquids together. Add two chocolate mixture in two additions alternately with buttermilk. So you're going to get, you're going to shake in some of your dry and then add your, mix that in. Add buttermilk, mix it in, alternate until you completely used up both of those. And then with your mixer on low speed, add the boiling water and beat until smooth. 
it's gonna be a thin consistency that's what you want if it is not a thin consistency it's not gonna bake right and it's not gonna turn out good it's got to be really thin not uber thin like the water is but what you would expect a cake mixture to be like if it was thin and it's they're not kidding when they say put it on low it will turn out into a huge mess I had it all over my face it was a delicious hot mess back then and yeah pour into your prepared cans your yeah your prepared cans we're gonna can this now put in your pans um or your cupcake pans bake 35 to 40 minutes or until cake tester tester comes out clean 35 minutes if you work with my oven which has two settings hot or off or 40 minutes if you actually have a good oven and you can actually preheat it to 355 degrees um, let it cool in the pan 10 to 15 minutes that's really important if you let it cool the cake will actually shrink a little bit and then you can turn it out onto your serving platter and it'll pop out no problem let it cool in the pan so that it finishes baking in the pan and it holds its shape but then it's easier for it to come out and it's not one big hot mess sorry boogers um then unroll on the max let cool completely after that and then there's a chocolate ganache recipe which will be in the second video no links provided you can search for that because that's how you found me so you did searches and whatnot. Um, you're gonna cover the top layer of the top part of the first layer you're gonna put chocolate ganache all over that and you're gonna put the second one on and then you're gonna put the rest of the chocolatey ganache goodness all over the sides of it it is heaven in your mouth and I made it one time just because I simply I seriously want a chocolate cake and it lasted me like six or seven days because I would go and I make myself a little slice have that be done it is absolutely delicious um, I apologize for the length of this but I wanted to make sure you guys got the recipe I gave you my little suggestions as I went through the recipe and I like baking so that I like baking chocolate cake most of all so that is that if you are actually cool enough to leave me a comment I really like getting comments and whatnot so if you want to go ahead and leave me a comment with your favorite recipe that would be awesome because I'm trying to build my recipe collection and I've got cookbooks and I've got some that I've made myself recipes but I want and would like and need other recipes so that it's a nice beautiful collection and whatnot so yeah once again I apologize for the length of this but wanted to make sure you got the entire recipe so yeah that's it for today I apologize for the length for the lateness of the post and I will see you guys all tomorrow